Hey guys, it's CJ with the Foot Geeks, and today we're here with David from TurnFit. And we want to talk about ankle sprains, uh, especially inversion sprains, which is the uh, foot you know, rotating outwards like that, as you maybe come down from taking a shot playing basketball, or maybe you're running and you're stepping on the side of the sidewalk, yeah. and then boom, your ankle goes sideways. Uh, common sprain is the inversion sprain which is going to cause damage to the anterior talofibular ligament which is basically on the side right here in the front anterior meaning front and then uh, talus being the bone that sits on top of your heel bone and um, <clears throat> the fibula, fibula obviously being the bone that's along the side off your leg right there how can we stay and active, and stay active yeah. afterwards right yeah so that's the biggest part is yeah, lots of people, almost everybody's experienced that kind of sprain. I have, I don't know if you have, but... I have, yeah. It's really frustrating. So yeah, you want to take care of it, you're told uh, you want to rest it, you want to ice it, you want to elevate it. Um, but you don't want to do that for two weeks. <laughs> you... <laughs> yeah, or... Preferably or, not, yeah. Instantly you still want to move it around. So like, maybe the old school method is, yeah, don't use it. And then what you found is after a few weeks or a month of not really using it, then you're starting limping, then you have to do rehab exercises. Then you have to stretch out your calf again. There's so many different things you have to re-stretch out because it's seized up on you. Yeah. So um, I'm at Foot Solutions here, and this is really cool. So the old school wraps that I, I used to use to wrap my ankle, this guy, I don't know if you can see it right here, is wrapped right around from the top and then supporting the foot so it can't continue to roll underneath. And it and helps to stabilize it so that you know, it's like a band that kind of prevents the foot from rolling out too easily. And I, I love how thin it is because like, I, I like rocking the high tops, so I can actually still wear it comfortably without it feeling like it's agitating, so I, I really yeah. love that. So it provides some additional stability when you're active, or even if you want to play uh, beach volleyball, you can use these things as well because they don't take up a lot of bulk, and uh, you can use something like that. I mean, obviously if, if it's a severe sprain, you know, you do want to do rest, ice, compression, elevation, which is the rice method, uh, you know, to make sure that the swelling goes down. But uh, the purpose behind you know moving it is really to prevent scar tissue from building up, so that you can prevent it from uh, becoming an issue down the road and, and really stiffening that part of your foot. Yeah. yeah so the idea is like, you still want to stay active, um, no matter what the injury is. You usually just want to create circulation in there. You don't want to keep repeating the same injury. So yeah, you need a little bit of support. Uh, but I, you can get out there. You can still have fun. You can still play, um, and then you don't have to do so much rehab afterwards. And what are some of the ankle exercises that you would recommend? Well, just kind of actually even moving it. So like, um, obviously if you had the brace or something like that, you could be, uh, I would recommend sitting first, just like you'd be flexing it up and down and then get the full range of motion so the heel is dropping if you're sitting on a chair and then back. And then again, taking it through some ankle ranges of motion, like full ranges without what I'm doing is rotating through the knee because I have tight calves. Um, you can also have a band seated <laughs> and then just some flexion, and then slow on the way back. So rebuilding strength in the ankle, obviously, by using the band, so that you know your your muscle structures, everything's getting stronger. Yeah, and you can do this. You don't have to have as tight of a band as I do, because it's actually pretty hard. This exercise, standing, testing my balance on camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there's there's many different exercises. The idea is just keep moving. Um, you still, if it feels it's agitated, then yeah, rest it just a little bit. Awesome. Now, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, post them below. And if you haven't subscribed to uh, our YouTube channels, do so right over here. Have an amazing day. Cheers.